Oh, oh, where are you? Oh, hello, flower pots. It's your auntie Nelly, and I'm back with a new review. I've just burnt my neck. Look at that. Oh, with bloody straightener things. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my new, my new hairdo, new hair don't care. And we're certainly not here to talk about burns. Hey, it's been a long time since I've had any burns though. Hands up if you used to have carpet burns. Hey, all them years ago in my twenties. Anyway, you've asked me to review. <laughs> I'm trying to put it off because I'm shitting it. The dye lash dye kit. So we're going to be dyeing our eyelashes. I do dye my own eyebrows now. I do, and I don't think I do so bad. That were another burn there on my head with straighteners. And that, that's fresh, that. Anyway, shall we crack on? Right, the Eye Lure Dye Lash. The uh, details for this product will be above to the side down below, wherever you are watching me from. And it comes with a massive big instruction thing. So I've just chopped off the English bit. And it says you've got to have clean eyelashes. So I have uh, nice, clean, everything nice. We suggest using a non-oily makeup remover. I've done that. Uh, apply a barrier cream. Um, so I reckon that's like Vaseline, isn't it? Barrier cream. So I'm just going to use my Egyptian magic which is uh, something I use for all sorts. So I'm going to pop that there and underneath like so. Um, and whilst this is actually on as a barrier cream, it's actually fantastic for your skin anyway. So we're killing two birds with one stone. Not that we should be killing birds, we should be looking after them. I have a bird seeder and I feed birds daily. Um, yeah. So, right, very good. So, what we're doing, I'm right nervous. What if I go blind? Because it says that it's got um, silver nitrate. I don't know what that is, but it don't sound right good, does it? Okay, so, done that. Put petroleum generally up. Right, okay, I've put, yeah, one centimetre of acting gel on the tray. Okay, so, step one. It says on it, step one. So you get a little dish like that, can you see? So that's step one, step two, and a brush. Um, I've gone for colour black, um, just because if I were to use a, a mascara, I'd use black. That's the tray. So a centimetre, it's about that, isn't it? And then um, whack that on. Now it says whack it on between two and eight minutes uh, if you want a more intense look. So I'm going to set my alarm timer, um, not eight hours, Antonella, and I will put it on for eight minutes. But firstly, can I just show you, oh Christ, hang on, that's my eyelashes, yeah, very fucking good. Right, so then you just literally do that, I think, hang on, do you do that? What did that say? It says... Approximately, yeah, using the mascara wand, coat the, br the brush thinly, apply it at lashes, coat them well, leave for a minimum of two minutes. You can leave on for eight for an intense look. Right, so, you ready? So, I'm thinking you go up like that. It doesn't say up or down. So, I'm just going to coat the actual eyelashes. Yeah, that's coated. And then other side if you've not put enough activating gel on i won't worry about it because you can put some more on there we go so that's been easy enough i don't feel like whatever silver nitrate is is blinding me feel okay and then there's still quite a bit of product on there so i'm just going to coat the bottom of my lashes i always think your lashes coated at bottom look lovely but i don't have many lashes at bottom I wonder if they do false lashes for the bottom. Or would that just look stupid? Look thick and stupid. Really thick. They're supposed to be at top. I don't think they're supposed to be thick at bottom, are they? Right, so. And it's nice as well to dye your lashes. I do have it done at beauticians sometimes. Um, I'm going on my holidays. 
next week and it'd be nice because it's going to be hot without having to put mascara on or eyeliner or so if you've got like an intense colour on your eyes it just look lovely wouldn't you <sighs> living up right so that's on I'm going to press this start eight minutes and I shall return see you soon flower pots Okay, so that's been on for, hang on, what's going on now? That's been on for eight minutes, okay? So now what it says to do is get a cotton pad and remove that by, hang on, grabbing your eyelashes in between your fingers like that and just removing that uh, colour cream gently so you don't drag your eyelashes out there's a bit there i don't know if i'm doing it right hang on wait a minute so like that right okay yeah and then this one so remove that as well and i think the barrier cream vaseline the egyptian magic cream whatever cream you choose to use moisturizer whatever you've got around is so i've lost a precious eyelash um it's so that if the color does go on your skin um it'll wipe off i'm thinking yeah right so that's off that doesn't feel anything other than like my eyelashes now you keep asking me to review that uh lash lift but i don't know how on earth i'm supposed to i've got cotton wool in my eye now I'm supposed to review that because um, you've got to keep your eyes shut and shit and I film everything myself so there's cotton wool in there now right so tip two not tip two stage two oh white wand as well make sure you white wand not with cotton wool fuck's sake Antonella <sighs> So don't do as I do, do as I say. Okay, so that's absolutely fucked now. So I've gone and found another implement to use. Okay, so I buy and try so you don't have to. And I try and make the mistakes so you can learn from them. Yay! Okay, this is the developer. So we've done the colour cream. We're doing the developer now. Okay, so eyelash is absolutely fine. Brush is fine and off we go again so this is to develop apparently so let's coat that on as if it was a mascara um there's no irritation at all it's not feeling funny in any way um it's not smarting i wouldn't know if it smells because i have no sense of smell oh fuck a duck I've poked myself it bastard eye. Oh yeah, now it's smarting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I spoke too soon. I hope this is not that silver nitrate shit. And whatever it does. Alexa, what's silver nitrate? Silver nitrate is an inorganic compound with chemical formula AgNO3. This compound is a versatile precursor to many other silver compounds, such as those used in photography. It is far less sensitive to light than the halides. It was once called lunar caustic because silver was called lunar by the ancient alchemists, oh. who believed that silver was associated with the moon. Right. That's good, isn't it? Very fucking good. Alexa, will silver nitrate blind me? It's gone in my eye. Sorry, I don't know that one. No, neither do I. What I'm going to say, though, is, on this occasion, <laughs> is just... Oh, fucking hell. I can't see. I'm going to have... Oh, I'm going to have to go and wash it off. I'm really sorry, I just can't see. I don't even know where the stop button is. Where's... Okay, so I have washed both eyes. They've both had an eye bath. 
um i have not had to go to eye hospital but i was quite concerned that i may have to so that isn't a full review i wasn't able to review the eye dye lash because i got it in my eye uh, and it was stinging and then I tried just this lash thinking is it because I tried to do the bottom uh, but it doesn't say don't do top and bottom it says you can do both but I poked myself in the eye so I got the product in my actual eyeball um, and it started stinging therefore I couldn't see that I couldn't do this one and it's still quite sensitive and warm to touch so I'm gonna have to do an eye mask I think um, put something cooling on there um, but they feel okay now, much better. And I've got my sight back. Um, so, yeah. So, you asked me to review the Eyelor Dye Lash. I give it a go. I buy and try so you don't have to. And I really would say visit a beauty professional a beautician who is well trained in doing things with your eyes that's why i won't be reviewing the uh, lash lift thing or any more dye lash stuff um i think i've cracked it with the magnetic lashes but that's as far as i'm going so what do i say about the eyelid dye lash for me it's a shower of shite and I'll see you all soon, Flower Pops, with a new review. Honestly, when it comes to your eyeballs, don't take them for granted. See the professionals. Take care.